the holiday destination of Jersey in the Channel Islands couldn't be any further away from the atmosphere and passion of the Ryder Cup. The island is home, though, to a man pivotal to Europe's run of success in recent times, making eight appearances as a player before captaining the continent to victory at the K-Club in Ireland ten years ago, in what was one of the most emotional set of matches the event has ever witnessed. I think this one just here is the one from 2006. So this one is a little bit special and uh, as you see, I've got a few of these. Uh, I think I've got eight or nine altogether, so they are quite unique and something special to have. I'm glad I don't have to polish them all the time. <laughs> the 2006 Ryder Cup marked a major step in Europe's recent domination of the event. 21 years on from first winning the trophy as Continental Europe, Ian Woosnam led his 12-man team to a record 18 and a half to nine and a half victory. This is the story of how that emphatic triumph was achieved. When you're doing the Ryder Cup in your own country or in Europe, it's a little bit more stressful. You know, you're involved with the course, you're involved with the media more, you're involved with the, you're in the clothing. Everything's going on and uh, from day one, I was thinking about the parents or who I was gonna pick. I was a little bit under pressure for some of my picks, and uh, so I was a little bit nervous going into it. I had no problem with, you know, who I was going to play with who, or what my strategy was. Uh, I was really confident of that, and I made my decisions very quickly. Uh, I was very confident because the course was wet. I wanted my bombers out there in the four balls. And then in the, in, the, in, in the foursomes, I wanted you know a bomber with a, a solid straight player or, or guys or a straighter. And be, you know if you if you go around that golf course in that wet condition, if you can shoot par, you were going to do really well. What was most important when I got the guys together and I said like you're like twelve stallions, you know. Uh, today, this week, you're, you're playing as a team, you know. 12 stallions playing together and, and that's how I try to treat it and, every, and enjoy it. Yeah! We got the, some of the older guys talking to the younger guys and, but it was just like having a big family really. Everybody knows how to play the game of golf, they just lead them out there and do their best. The K Club provided the perfect stage for one of Woosdom's two captain's picks to perform. Six weeks after the death of his wife Heather, Darren Clark produced a characteristically spirited performance to claim three points from three matches. On the tee, Darren Clark. Uh, at that time, Darren was playing pretty good golf, I thought, and you know, he decided to take, obviously, the last few months off and uh, when it, obviously when she passed and then uh, he had time to to get together a little bit and I decided that you know I want to give him the opportunity because he was playing so well before it plus it was in Ireland and I think he was basically my first choice and uh, yes yeah, so I, I rung him up and he said let me think about it and came back and a day or two whatever it was and said yes I'd love to play him I think it was the best movie I ever did. All the Irish people behind the behind the the tea there, and they're all clapping and stamping and shouting and bawling and just the emotion, you know. Just even now thinking about, it, you know, he's got his green jumper on, yeah, man. You know, you could see it. He was, you know, he was excited, but he was so emotional as well. And you know, everybody, I think Lee gave him his space. Even the other players gave him his space. And God, that drive, what he went about. Must have gone 350 yards. And I think that's the emotion he put into that shot, and uh, I think that was uh, the start of the Ryder Cup, really. Oh, 
only played Darren three times. I know he wanted to play more. But with the emotion, with all the people, I thought it was better we rested him. Um, we only played him three times, and I think that was good as well. I was on the green, and uh, you know, he'd done his little bit and then and had a few words with him. There on the 16th fairway, on that, you know, on that green on the par five, with all the crowds around him, it was destiny. Brilliant. 2006, the Ryder Cup was all about Darren Clark and the European team, and pretty well saying goodbye to Heather Clark, really. Captain Woosnam shaped his leadership based on his experiences as a Ryder Cup player, in particular turning negatives into positives. His record of never having won a singles match in eight attempts actually helped him guide his team to win eight and a half points from a possible 12 on the final day. Well, it's a win is just everything, you know. You just feel like you, you it caps your career off. But I think I used that experience of saying to myself, where did you make the mistakes? Maybe I was out first, I wanted to put that point on the, on the, on the, on the team first, but I think that's why it was very important to say to, you, to your team, look, when you come to the singles, play for yourself. You're playing for yourself. Be a little selfish. Try to win for yourself, not the team. And you can concentrate on your own match. Stop looking at the boards, listen to the roars. And, and that's, uh, that's the sort of advice I try to give to the other players. It's funny that, you know, DJ Russell, my best friend, you know, he was there on the buggy with me. He says, well, we've won. And I keep, keep looking at the board and you just don't see enough of blues. All you can see is the reds, you know what I mean? He says, we're going to win easily. But uh, it wasn't until it was all over and the last putt and I, you know, I could just finally start relaxing and uh, and then obviously getting on that balcony and just, yeah, it was just, I was so, just overwhelmed really. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how many drinks I drank, I don't think I would have got drunk that night anyway, but uh, yeah, special. I'll never forget that one. Europe's nine point win at the K Club remains the continent's most emphatic victory. And Ian Woosdom's leadership will long be remembered as the template for securing Ryder Cup success.